Hey, Divine Feminine. Um, this is your girl, Hill Feminine, back at you again with another reading. Um, I'm hearing where is the love. I'm hearing where is the love, um, Divine Feminine. The people want to know where is the love. Um, a lot of you guys who follow me are basically getting out of toxic, tumultuous, relationships whether it be family platonic um relationship whatever it may be you are getting out of connections or you're starting to rise up or wake up to your truest and your highest self and um you are disconnecting from a lot of people places and things and i just wanted to get like real with y'all um i don't know why today just feel like a get real with y'all moment um a lot of y'all are victims of narcissistic abuse and um triangulation um things that did not or should not have happened to you that weighed on your mental health and things like that um a lot of things that broke you into your spiritual awakening or your spiritual journey and the people that handled you in a way that they should not have handled you they are trying to come back because they did not think that you would get away from them. So I'm just hearing like, where is the love? And and I've been hearing that like, where is the love? Or they feel like that they need to come back to say sorry, or they feel like that they that the spiritual attacks that they sent you is not working, or um, the things that they're doing to mess with your mental health is not working. It's like they are whatever they're putting out or whatever magic that you're conjuring or whipping up is just coming back void. So I'm just hearing like, where is the love? Like, no, it wasn't like that. So whatever spiritual attacks or whatever flying monkeys or the triangulation or whatever they were sending your way, they recognized like it's not fucking working no more. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I am a survivor of narcissistic abuse. I was raised by narcissists. I was groomed by narcissistic people. And um, I basically came into my spiritual awakening. Um, Well, I... It happened in 2017 and I it, it really got me into a place of wanting to get away from them. I did not know how to, but each and every day I decided to choose me. That's why a lot of you guys that you guys are gravitating to me. One day, um, real, 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 real soon, I'm going to get into that and do a story time about it. But today we are talking about where is the love? They want to know where is the love and why you won't let them back in but they i'm getting and they know motherfucking well why you have you are not letting them back in they know motherfucking well why you're not letting them back in but first things first i'm going to pray but then we can get started into the reading but if you would like to book a personal reading with me only thing you need to do is hit the description bar tips and donations are greatly appreciated everything you need to know is in the description um if this is not your energy, then don't take it. Do not take it. If it don't resonate, don't take it. Do not take it. I don't need to hear it. Um, this is going to be a very triggering reading. So I want to give you a heads up that this is going to be a triggering reading. Ancestors and spirit guides to my highest white light, highest good. I give you full permission to channel through me to give me the divine feminine energy. What's T spirit? Allow me to see, say. And read the energy. Allow me to see, say, hear, and reveal the energy that needs to be given. What's T, Spirit? What's T? Give you for permission to channel through me to give me clear, concise, accurate, honest answers and clarity within this reading. First card out, we have the page of cups here in reverse. So this is coming up as a, a sibling or a cousin. Um, somebody that is younger than you that is going through the same thing that you have escaped or you're moving out of. Whoever... This sibling is this younger cousin, whoever this person is that's 
in your immediate energy, they are struggling. They are going through some of the same things that you endured when you were growing up or when you were dealing with people who hurt you. Um, Spirit is saying that this person is very lost and they are looking for guidance. They don't know what is going on or why they are being treated the way that they're being treated. This person is looking for you for guidance. A lot of you guys have moved away or separated yourself from certain people in your immediate energy or your family this doesn't necessarily even have to be your younger sibling or your cousin this could be somebody in relation that you built a bond with but whoever this young individual is they need your guidance or they want your guidance because they are going through some of the things that you have went through um when you were dealing with said individual who mistreated you or you know decided to go against you or um, push dark energy onto you. Um, with the emperor card here in reverse, it's showing up is that a lot of things are starting to trigger you now because spirit is saying that these people are having flashbacks. They are having flashbacks of the things that they have done to you. So I'm picking up damage control where they want to try to come in and ask you for your forgiveness after sending satanic demonic attacks to you many of times um with this page of chalices in reverse and this emperor in reverse this person or these people they knew who you were immediately when you met them they wanted to sacrifice you or basically take your energy and transmute it into darkness or they wanted to take your energy and use it for their own good and spirit wanted you to wants you to know that a lot of these people were successful for a long period of time but the thing is is it's no longer successful anymore and they recognize that all of the things that they're sending your way or all of the things that they're doing is no longer working on you it's like you're waking up to the things that they are doing to you exactly with this um observer card here it's like you can see because i'm getting the energy that you have been hit so many times by dark negative energies things that are following you you things flickering out of your eye hearing things and um things shifting in your energy and you almost thought you was crazy or if you would tell these individuals what was going on and now it's like you're waking up because you have been mentally and physically abused so much it's like you're waking up and you're starting to take notice of the things that are going on that are surrounding you although that you might have sight in your eyes but you are opening up your um your third eye is like it's opening up and it's like you're starting to tap in and you're starting to see things for what they are a lot of you guys don't remember certain things at certain points and times of your life but a lot of things is starting to come back to you and starting to click um i'm gonna get a little bit um into that like why things are hazy is because they wanted to basically fog your memory so you won't remember certain things spirit wanted you to know that they wanted to guard you with this um page of source they wanted to take charge of what was going on they wanted to basically monitor your thoughts they wanted to make sure that you did not rise above or you did not see your truest self with this observer card they wanted you to stay um not smart because i'm getting the energy that a lot of them called you dumb or they called you stupid or they called you not educated or they did things to make you feel like you were smart because you had a voice or you spoke up for yourself so they wanted to suppress your energy or um stomp your fire out but now it's like you're waking up to that i don't know um why i feel so choked up but it's like they don't want me to tell it but this is so heavy and i feel like i need to tell it and the lights are getting so bright in here so this is this spirit wants me to tell you guys this or open up to it but with the eight of wands here it's showing up is that you are moving away and they did not think that you would move away from them with this eight of wands a lot of you guys ask god your higher power 
whoever to order your steps because I'm getting the energy that you were going through so many periods of darkness and isolation. You said, God, spirit, whoever, please order my steps. And it was like, you didn't understand like why you was going through so much darkness. And it was like, boom, like all at once you had started to go through the dark night of the soul or your ego death and things like that. And it's like, now you're starting to recognize with this eight of wands here with you know you see this man with a mask on his face it's easy, although that you have gotten away or you're moving away you're still wearing that mask but spirit is saying it's time for you to see things for what they are they're saying they're going to start to open up some things for you because they're going to start to download some things into you you're starting to understand things or you're starting to get you're healing enough to basically withstand the information that spirit is getting ready to download into you um yeah, we have the four of wands here. So you might feel like you're isolated and you don't have any friends or you don't mess with nobody and things like that. And spirit is saying that this is for a reason. Spirit is saying you're too raw right now. You are too raw right now. You are too fresh out of things. And it's not time for you to get into new connections, whether it is relationships, whether it is um, friendships and things like that. I know I talk about um divine masculine and things like that but n normally when i talk about divine masculine and things like those those be narcissistic fucking um people that y'all have been in relationships with half of them don't even be them those be karmics that you need to learn from this is why they want to come back in and charge you but with this four of wands here a lot of you guys you want relationships or friendships and things like that and the spirit is saying it's not time spirit is saying it's time for you to build yourself up with this four of wands and this eight of wands they want you to know that all that you have escaped narcissistic abuse or um sociopaths and abusers and flying monkeys and things like that spirit is saying it's time for you to see your truest self with this observer card and choose you so you can come away from those moments where you were wounded or you were mistreated or you were abused, whether it was um, in your adolescent years and things like that, because I'm picking up the energy that someone's um, maternal figure, her boyfriend, um, molested them um, with this chariot card here. And the mother chose to whoop you or beat you or um, not take your side because the, the boyfriend or the uncle or the stepdad or the friend or the sitter decided to do this. So the maternal figure with this chariot card decided to not take your side with this observer card and it chose, it puts you in a space of feeling isolated. But now whoever this maternal figure is, she knew fully well with this observer card what was going on. So now she's coming back in because that guilt is eating her motherfucking ass up. That guilt is eating her ass up. She actually sacrificed you. Spirit wants me to let you know that she sacrificed you. She gave you to these boyfriends or to these uncles or to the granddaddies or friends or whoever these people are. She gave you to them. She gave you to them on purpose. She sold you. She did this. Yes, yeah, she did this. Exactly with this king of swords here in reverse for some type of money so an advancement um a lot of you guys don't have um good relationships with your maternal figure whoever your maternal figure may be to you don't have good relationships with this woman is due to the fact of you were never meant to have a good relationship with this woman um this person was sent to actually push you into your spiritual awakening um this person was your first narcissist your first groomer your first person to show you how to love yourself and also how to hate yourself so this is why a lot of you guys struggle with loving yourself or finding love or um doing having successful relationships because you don't really know how to because this person did not show you or illustrate that and things like that and spirit is saying it's time for you to you know see heal this with this for a chalice is here although that you might feel like you want to have a healthy relationship or you might want to have some type of relationship with this person or this woman and spirit is saying no this person was sent on your path this person is a karmic um this is karma this is someone that was sent to you so you can learn and so you can heal um with this king of swords here in reverse is showing up as a lot of you guys um have difficult situations or difficulties within your family dynamic feeling ostracized or abandoned and things like that and spirit is saying with this chariot card is that they all were in cahoots against you with this four of chalices here they were all sent to basically feed off of your energy and spirit wants you to know that it was nothing that was 
It was nothing that, how can I say, it was nothing that you could have done to stop this. It was nothing that you could have done because this person has some type of mental illness, some type of mental sickness. And it's something that you had to learn from with this ten of chalices here so you can move away and break free. You were sent here with this ten of chalices to break generational curses. It's actually some type of... Um, demonic thing that's going on or some type of curse um some type of thing that's going on in your family where a lot of you have family members or people that are close to you that are sick and spirit is saying it's, it's you that is was sent here to break the generational curse it was you that was sent here to speak up on it a lot of you guys suppress that or you hide it and spirit is saying it's time for you to speak up on that and tell your story they're saying you don't have to hold on to anybody's to anybody's lies or brush it under the rug or feel like that you're going to get in trouble or things like that spirit is saying that you have a lot of thoughts with this four of chalices in this cherry card about saying things or you're so vengeful rageful and you're you're you feel so much in you that you want to take action towards this but spirit is saying they want you to take action with this cherry card and it's ten of chalices and and get that out whether it's recording yourself or telling your story or you know trying to help somebody else but they're saying whatever you do don't hold on to that because it's not going to do anything but keep you in a in a place of holding a grudge spirit is saying that they know that this was a hurtful hurtful situation but your story could definitely help somebody your story could definitely help somebody spirit wants you to know that they don't want you to hold on to that any longer yeah with the um 10 of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles because spirit is telling me to stop right here um with this queen of pentacles here and the 10 of pentacles here is showing up is that you have a bunch of spirit guides of your highest white light and good and benevolent and honorable ancestors and spirit team that are watching you and they are guiding you and they're literally giving you everything that you need with this queen of pentacles here and they want you to know that you were sent here to do the work to help free them of things that went on with their people or within their within you guys' bloodline and they want you to know that you were sitting here specifically there like they're passing the baton to you with this queen of pentacles here they're literally like passing it to you and they want you to take action so you can get generational wealth so you can free your bloodline for this spirit of your benevolent and your honorable ancestors your your they want you to know that you are going to be the one so a lot of you guys may have had hard times with money but or didn't have a job and you were and people shamed you or made you feel like you were bad because you didn't have a job or things were not working out but you always managed to get money and they want they want you to know that it was them with this queen a of pinnacles here they wanted you to know that it was them with this queen of pinnacles making sure that you were straight a lot of you guys had difficulties with food and things like that or people hiding food or people not giving you certain things or not treating you a certain type of way but with the chariot card here they wanted you to know even though you felt like you didn't have anybody before you had your spiritual awakening or when you decided to wake up they wanted you to they want you to know that it was them that was advocating for you before the other before you, from the other side with the ten of pinnacles here they want you to know that they're still advocating for you but now you're able to advocate for yourself and you're able to step up but they want you to know that you're sent here to break generational curses a lot of these things are getting ready to be broken because of you you have already broken them broken a lot of generational curses a lot of people didn't even think that you would even get to this point and that's okay that's why they and when i started the reading in the beginning they want to know what a love is this ain't no fucking love they know it ain't no fucking love they know what the fuck they did to you and divine feminine um divine collective whoever's listening because this is for anybody who it resonates for they our spirit wants you to know that you were sent here specifically especially if you were guided to my channel and you're going to heal you're going to get everything that your soul desires but spirit is wanting you to know your benevolent honorable ancestors want you to know to keep going but that's all i have for you today um if you would like to get a personal reading um only thing you need to do is hit the description bar um tips and donations are greatly appreciated everything you need to know is down below but until then i'll talk to you guys next time bye